Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a quick video on projecting battery degradation on a Fiat 500e. So what I've done here is I've basically gathered information using Alpha OBD. Ever since I found out about it back in September 2018, I've been scanning the car about every thousand miles or so. And that's what we have up here. So this is about when I did my first scan here. And so what I've done here is I basically put together a whole chart of information here and then based off all the all the data that I've collected over the last 11, 12,000 miles or so, I've kind of projected out what I expect to get during the next uh, uh, 60 or 70,000 miles. So basically what we have here is um, we have the date that I uh, scanned the car and then the mileage. It's always going to be about a thousand miles apart each uh each time i scan it and then I, this this is the information that you get off of alpha obd you get the state of health you get the state of health r c and then you get the amp hours which i wasn't collecting initially but i started to uh, i started to do that afterwards because it is actually a very important number actually this is actually the most important number that you want to see here actually is the amp hours and then the state of charge when i scanned it the temperature when i scanned it and then um this is what I could, what I figured, what I calculated out the capacity to be times 360 volts. It comes out to kilowatt hours, and then this is the at five miles a kilowatt. I calculate out this is what the mileage would be, and then minus 20 percent because in order to to keep your battery in good state of health, generally it's a good idea to uh, keep your battery between 10 and 90 percent. So basically, whatever max charge would be you, you subtract 20 percent 10 off the top 10 off the bottom and this is what your real world mileage would be so basically that's what we got here so we know that the car comes when, when it's new it has zero miles on it and we know that the uh, battery is 63 amp hours we know that as a fact and so that's 100 percent capacity and it works out to be about 22.7 kilowatt hours is what your battery pack size is and then I figure that at five miles a kilowatt, you probably, I mean, not that you're going to get as good as that, but that's typically what I get. Um, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, depending on weather, temperature, and driving habits and such. But at five miles a kilowatt, you should get about 113 miles when it's new. But you take off that 10% off the top, 10% off the bottom. If you keep it between 10 and 90, it would probably be about 91 miles. So that's what I got when it's new. And now, when I bought the car, it, was, it had 33,000 miles on it, so I'm not sure what happened before that. But when I bought the car, it had 33,000. I didn't start scanning until about 43, right here. Another thing that I noticed was interesting, this is the state of charge right here. So, there's sometimes, like this one, for example, I had the car at state of charge, was at 100%. And then I noticed that the state of health was showing closer to 100%. But that's the only time that it stayed if you look at all these numbers here, the only time it ever said it was at 99.61 is when it was state of charge was at 100%. So a lot of times it was only at 50% state of charge, and then the uh, state of health was a different number. But I guess the thing that I found out about this is that a lot of these numbers are just kind of almost irrelevant because the amp hours is the most important number right here, and that always changed, and it always got smaller every time I scanned the car. So despite these, sometimes the state of health C was showing that it was flat when it really wasn't. So these, so basically, I think all these numbers are basically useless. The only number that really matters is the amp hours. And then what you can do is you can calculate out what your um, what your capacity is based off the um, the calculation. You basically times 360 volts and that gets you your kilowatts right here and then this is just the uh, the approximate capacity so basically from 45,000 to 55,000 a 10,000 mile number we went from 80 percent 80.6 percent capacity 18.3 kilowatts down to 77.8 and 17.66 kilowatts so about a 2.5 percent drop over 10,000 miles and um, this is what at five miles a kilowatt my actual range has gone from so it's basically 91 and a half miles if I was going from 100% down to zero which you're never going to drive at that that um, distance 
But if you if you wanted to, that would be your max range, 91.5 at that at five miles a kilowatt. Now, obviously, if you're getting four, it's something. It's a totally it's a much lesser number. And then um, at the end of uh, 10,000 miles later, it was 88.3. So, and then if you keep your battery between 10 and 90, it's about you know real world would be more like 73, and now 73.2, and then now it's down to 70.6. So based off all this information up here. This is where I've calculated out the um, what I expect in the future here. Continue at the at the current trajectory here of driving 10,000 miles a year. So this is what I would expect would happen over the next se seven years if I'm if I'm going to continue to drive the car. So so this is what I expect the capacity will be at 65,000. It will be at about 74.8, and that's that's assuming that the uh, the percentages continue to drop, which is actually um, about three percent or so. Actually, did I say 2.5? Actually, it's 3% is what the actual was. 80.6, it dropped down to 77.8. So actually, about a 3% degradation every 10,000 miles. And this is what the, what the numbers work out to be. So by the time you get to 125,000, the battery's gone from about 17 kilowatts down to about just under 13 kilowatts, which is getting pretty close to about half its original capacity. A little bit over. But um, getting pre getting pre getting pretty bad there, and this is what the real range the, the the max range would be, and this would be the real world range right here. So expected to go down to 68 miles, and then you know by the time you get to under 25, it'd probably be down to around 51 miles or so of practical range. And if you max it out and go from 100 down to zero, you get about 65. So the first maintenance is due at 150,000 mile mark. Um, I think by then the battery will be probably at around 50%, probably a little bit under 50%. So then it becomes kind of questionable whether do you really want to like drive the car? Is that a significant amount of range? You know, to go 50 mile range, is that going to be enough? Maybe the best thing to do is to just take the battery pack out and use it as a battery backup for your house, which would be an excellent, you know, application. And then take a used battery out of a salvage car, for example, and then swap it into this car. And then you'd be back up to maybe somewhere up in this range here, you know, where you have a 90 mile range again, as opposed to a, say a 60 or a 50 or whatever. So at around 150,000 mile mark, that might be something to um, to consider. But I would say that it would be pretty, based off my, my information I have here, I would say it would probably be pretty predictable that the car would last at least 150,000 maintenance free miles, you know, and um, still have a pretty significant amount of range. If you can just live with the fact that there's no fast charger and that you're kind of limited by that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.